how to get the perfect ombre lip look. It's going to take a little time. It's not just your slap on gloss kind of look, but it's gorgeous. And I promise you, you will get so many compliments. So I have prepped my lips, but now I want them dry, right? Because um, a matte liquid lipstick should go on dry lips if you want it to really stay, right? So in the mornings, I put on either a lip balm, a lip conditioner, something like that with a lip plumper to really get my lips ready. But if I want the lipstick to stay all day long with no gloss look, I need to wipe this off, right? Because otherwise it will break it down a little bit. But now my lips are soft. They're not going to look crusty for um, a matte lip, lip look, anything like that. So here's the things that I have chosen because I want this to be bold. This is like a holiday glitz glam. I want all the compliments kind of look, right? Now, I could give you a more natural look. But here's the thing is that ombre is ombre. You can do it the same way with whatever colors you want, okay? I've chosen these. This is um, a red... This is called Superstar, and this is liner 226, okay? So I wanted this one to kind of match this one a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to kind of all blend together anyways. But I'm going to first take my red, and I'm actually going to line the lips after. It just cleans it all up, and it's truly fantastic, okay? These are really pigmented. Don't go crazy on it, okay? Don't pull this, do you see all that on there? And start wiping. You will regret it from the first second you try it. Literally take it all off. There'll be enough on the wand still. If you need to redip, you can. But just, okay, so you see how all of that right there just came off. We don't want any of that on there. I promise you it will still be bold enough. It'll still be amazing. Okay, so... It's still there, right? We don't have to get this completely perfect because we are going to come in with the liner later. We just want it kind of good, right? This is the beautiful thing about doing a liner last. Is that you can clean it up. So this is a red lip. It's great. If you really get outside the line, you can clean it up with concealer and then put some powder over it. But I just don't get super close to the edges and then the liner will take care of the rest, okay? So this one I think that we're done with. And then this one. Okay. Just pull it out. I wiped a little bit off and I'm going to apply this with a brush, okay? This is just a small, thin, what, whatever brush you want is fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So it's on there. Let me just put that down so I can hold this with my mirror. And then I'm going to put this on the outsides. See how it puts it on there, but it's not super um, dark. Like as if I applied it with the wand, right? Definitely up more over here, but I like it. So I'm going to do the other side like that. And then I always just kind of come over and blend the bottom a little bit. I promise it's going to look okay. Does it look pretty? It will, I promise. So I don't want to get that dark too far over. So take your brush and go with the red this way. See how it blended it? And again, see how it's not perfect right there? I'll show you how to clean that up with liner. I'm not perfect at this, but I do try really hard. Over here, in the outer corner. See how it's looking darker in those corners? It's just pretty. And you can do this with two nudes, whatever, whatever your jam is. If you're berry, do it with berries. See how it's 
blending and looking really pretty. Okay, so let's put this up. We might have to come back in with it. You can put a gloss over this if you're a glossy person, but just know that it will break down the lipstick. Okay, so here's where my liner comes in. And I'm gonna line right kind of wit. See how this already looks a whole lot sharper and cleaner than that one? See how it just cleaned it up? I don't know how it does it. It's like magic, but it does. This one I just come right above my lip so that it looks a little fuller and bigger. You see that? See how it looks real red in the middle, but then a little berry, but it's not so dramatic that it looks like I have put all the different colors. It just looks like this shadowy pretty color. If you want a little shimmer, but you don't want to add the gloss, you can come in. Let me just show you. Okay, first of all, this palette right here, this is our contour palette. I did my contouring and then my eye look with it. It's so pretty. But if you want to come in with, that's not it. With just a little bit of shimmer on the lips, grab a highlight palette, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna do the pink because I think it's fun. And I just put a little bit. Right there in the middle. I do need to fix this top where, see how I covered that liner? Just come back in with your liner. Because I want that liner to not have that shimmer. Is that not the funnest look ever? And you can do this step with any eyeshadow you have, any highlighter you have, whatever you have. Even if it's a cream, just put it on your lip, put it on there, and then you get that little bit of shimmer and highlight without putting gloss on that's gonna break down that lipstick. That makes sense? Yeah. Do you think you could do it? 